A small group of experts from the model railways spent five years to recreate the station to Aloha and its environs circa 1960 in great detail. Using old photographs and plans, they carefully recreated everything from that era, including signal lights, tracks, platforms, buildings and landscapes. We also painted and aged the locomotive to make it more realistic, the engines of the trains were brilliant, when we just finished to paint them. A member of a group of enthusiasts David Frank said that a hobby, which provides for the creation of sophisticated layouts from scratch, instead of assembling a ready-made kit requires a wide range of skills. It can be hard work, but you love her. This can be any hobby is the restoration of classic cars, the creation of aircraft and so forth. 68-year-old Davy Scott says, I think for older people, this is nostalgia, a desire to return to the world, when everything was slow. In 1960, you could go to the central station in Glasgow and see that it is quite modern, has electric trains, but some suburban station was still lit by gas. It was like a return to Victorian times. Study group of the Scottish region is one of more than 30 clubs association modelling teams of the railways in Scotland, which holds an annual exhibition of Model Rail Scotland in Glasgow. Your goal is to create a model railway and not important or you'll just get out of the box ready set and fold it, or build a much more complex layout, he said Colin adds, I believe that the reason people become so passionate and attracted to modelling railways is the desire to escape from the real world. You're transported into the little world or diorama that you have created. Alo will not present this year, but the exhibition will be more than 50 other layouts, including one from the Aberdeen Club's Model Railroad, which won the national competition on Channel 5 last year. Meanwhile, the study group of the Scottish region of a major new project they are trying to create a 12-metre station layout larboard in central Scotland during the 1960s. Allo was first shown at the exhibition in 2008, but the layout is really never finished. It may look finished, but there is always something that needs to finish, something that you can do better, said Davy Scott.